Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of my web design process. From reviewing client's details, simple flowchart, wireframe, and mockup. I'm a friend's ESCO. I'm a freelance graphic and web designer here in the Philippines. Reviewing my client's brief information is usually my first step in coming up with a design system that I will be using in creating their website, starting with a simple flowchart. I'm using my iPad and Concepts app in sketching charts, taking notes, and just simple wireframe. I was using pen and paper before, but having a tablet or an iPad really made wonders. First thing that I do is creating header and footer style. The details needed on the header is the different menu tabs or pages and the positioning of logo. Second will be the footer. The essentials inside of it, the extra menu pages, social icons, terms, privacy, and copyright info. Lastly, creating different pages and the placeholders based on the client's given info. So this is done! Before proceeding with the next step, let's just take a quick break. If you're loving this video, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Going back to our process, Adobe XD is my tool for creating high-fidelity mockup, but you can still use other platforms such as Figma, Sketch, Protopie, Macflow, and so on. Starting with adding your client's color palettes and font types. This is just the basic style guide to use all over the web design you are making. For now, placeholder images are your best friend to present the concept of the design. You can download images from Pexels, Unsplash, and other free stock photos. Just remember to use photos that will be related to your client's niche or company, so it will be more realistic. And we are done! For presenting the mock-up to your client, I am using iMovie in creating a simple presentation. But of course, you can directly present the mock-up through a conference call. For me, this step works best to me and my client before we jump on a call. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or suggestions, just drop your comment below and of course, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to my channel. See you again soon!